Hey there, Samantha here from Using Technology Better. And in this video, I wanna show you how to use the out of office feature in Google Calendar to automatically decline meeting invitations. So you can find the out of office feature just by clicking on an empty time slot in your calendar. So ideally at the time slot when you're going to be out of the office, click on that. And it will pop up with our little options here of all the different events we can create. And the standard one, the event here, you're probably quite used to, but there's all these other ones along here, one of which is out of office. So if we click on that, we can choose a date and time for when we're gonna be out of the office and we can set it as a repeating thing as well. So let's just say you're out of the office every Wednesday between three and five, you could set it up that way. Then we've got this option here to automatically decline meetings. And this is where the magic happens. So you can choose only to decline new invitations that come in or the ones that are in your calendar already and new ones. So choose whatever works for you. So if you're mainly interested with just automatically declining ones that are gonna come in you know, when you are out of the office, then just leave it on the first one. And what's really great too, is you can customize the message that people get in response. So you can see the standard one here is just declined because I'm out of the office, but you can obviously pop in a little bit, uh, something that's a little bit more friendly into there and that's what people will receive. Now, further down, you'll notice that we've got this little thing here that says public. So this is to do with the visibility of this particular out of office message. So it shows up both as an event in your calendar and obviously if you've got that automatically declined ticked, it will be a message back to people as well. But particularly around this public part here, that determines who can see that out of office event in your calendar. So. If you leave it as public, anyone in your organization or anyone that has access to your calendar with another Google account would be able to see that out of office and see that you are out of office, even if they don't have access to the rest of your calendar. If you pop it on default visibility, then it will have the same permissions as the rest of your calendar. So if some people are allowed to see what you're doing and others aren't, then they would see the out of office accordingly. And private means that no one would see it. I usually leave it on public. Now this won't affect the declining the meetings at all, but it will affect what people see when they look at your calendar. So this is kind of the other little bonus of the out of office. It can pop that visibility in the calendar for you when people might be trying to book you for meetings and then they hopefully won't book you and you won't have to automatically decline the event. So when you are done, you can just click save like I have done now and you'll see it's gonna prompt us to confirm that that's what we wanna do. Yes, I'm gonna save and decline. It sits there in my calendar in a slightly different color, so it's really easy to see. So there you go. That's how to use the out of office feature in Google Calendar to automatically decline meetings. Thanks for watching. If you love these tips and tricks and wanna boost your productivity and boost your confidence with these tools even more, then head on over to usingtechnologybetter.com. We've got on-demand courses waiting for you and we can even organize a customized training solution as well. So just get in touch and we can chat about that.